A hundred years ago, one man saw the future before the world was ready. His name Henry Kowanda, a Romanian inventor who dared to challenge the skies, designing an aircraft unlike any before it. But was the world ready for his vision? Today, we uncover the story of a man who could have changed aviation forever, if only history had listened. The year is 1910. The world is on the cusp of a new age, a time of rapid transformation and boundless possibilities. The streets are bustling with the energy of the Industrial Revolution and the air is thick with the promise of innovation. Technology is advancing at an unprecedented pace and nowhere is this more apparent than in the field of aviation. The dream of flight, once a distant fantasy, is rapidly becoming a reality. Visionaries and inventors are pushing the boundaries of what is possible, each striving to be the first to conquer the skies. Among these brilliant minds, one stands out, Henry Koanda, a Romanian inventor and aviation pioneer. Koanda's story is one of daring innovation, unwavering determination, and a relentless pursuit of a vision. His contributions to aviation would forever change the course of history. From a young age, Koanda was captivated by the power and mystery of flight. He spent countless hours observing birds in flight, sketching designs in his notebooks, and dreaming of the day when humans would soar among the clouds. His fascination with aerodynamics and his unwavering belief in the potential of powered flight led him to create the Koanda 1910, a revolutionary aircraft that would make history. Koanda's journey was not an easy one. He faced numerous challenges and setbacks, but his determination never wavered. He was driven by a passion for discovery and a desire to push the boundaries of what was possible. His innovative spirit and tireless work ethic set him apart from his contemporaries. In his early experiments, Koanda explored the principles of aerodynamics, studying the behavior of air flows and the forces that affect flight. His groundbreaking research laid the foundation for many of the advancements in aviation that we take for granted today. He was a true pioneer, always looking for new ways to improve and innovate. It is a story that would forever change the course of aviation history. Koanda's work was not just about building machines. It was about understanding the fundamental principles of flight and using that knowledge to create something truly revolutionary. His contributions to the field of aviation were immense and his legacy continues to inspire new generations of inventors and engineers. From a young age, Kwanda was captivated by the power and mystery of flight. He spent countless hours observing birds in flight, sketching designs in his notebooks, and dreaming of the day when humans would soar among the clouds. His early experiences and observations were the seeds of his future innovations. He spent countless hours observing birds in flight, sketching designs in his notebooks, and dreaming of the day when humans would soar among the clouds. His fascination with aerodynamics and his unwavering belief in the potential of powered flight led him to create the Koanda 1910, a revolutionary aircraft that would make history. This aircraft was not just a machine, it was a symbol of human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of a dream. His fascination with aerodynamics and his unwavering belief in the potential of powered flight led him to create the Koanda 1910, a revolutionary aircraft that would make history. The Koanda 1910 was a marvel of engineering, incorporating innovative design elements that were ahead of its time. It was a testament to Koanda's vision and his ability to turn dreams into reality. Join us as we delve into the life and work of this extraordinary visionary and explore how his groundbreaking invention, born from a childhood dream, shaped the future of aviation. Through his story, we will uncover the passion, determination and ingenuity that drove Henry Kwanda to achieve greatness and leave an indelible mark on the world of aviation. The engine hums, the moment near, a spark of change, the world unclear. Metal wings, a dream takes flight, a glimpse beyond the bounds of sight. The Grand Palais, a magnificent glass and steel structure in the heart of Paris, played host to the second International Aeronautical Exhibition in the autumn of 1910. This grand event was a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of conquering the skies. The Grand Palais itself 
with its towering glass dome and intricate ironwork, stood as a symbol of progress and modernity, perfectly encapsulating the spirit of the age. The atmosphere crackled with excitement as inventors, engineers, and aviation enthusiasts from around the globe gathered to witness the latest marvels of air travel. The air was thick with the scent of oil and metal, and the hum of conversation was punctuated by the occasional roar of an engine being tested. It was a melting pot of ideas and dreams, where the boundaries of what was possible were being pushed further with each passing moment. Among the biplanes and dirigibles, a curious aircraft unlike anything the world had ever seen stood on display the Koanda 1910. This aircraft, with its sleek lines and innovative design, drew the attention of everyone who passed by. It was not just another flying machine. It was a glimpse into the future of aviation, a promise of what was to come. Its sleek, futuristic design, with an enclosed fuselage and a unique propulsion system, immediately set it apart from the other aircraft at the exhibition. The Koanda 1910 was not just a marvel of engineering, it was a work of art. Its smooth curves and polished surfaces reflected the light in a way that made it seem almost otherworldly. It was a machine that promised to change the way people thought about flight. Whispers of awe and speculation followed the Koanda 1910, hinting at the revolutionary potential it held within its elegant frame. People gathered around, pointing and discussing in hushed tones, trying to understand the secrets of its design. The aircraft seemed to hold a promise, a hint of the future that was just within reach. It was a moment of collective wonder, a shared sense of anticipation for what was to come. The exhibition was not merely a showcase of technological marvels, it was a battleground for innovation. Each inventor and engineer brought their best ideas, hoping to outshine the competition and secure their place in history. The air was thick with rivalry and ambition, as each participant sought to prove that their vision of the future was the one that would prevail. Inventors and engineers vied for recognition, each hoping to etch their name in the annals of aviation history. They presented their creations with pride, explaining the intricacies of their designs and the potential they held. It was a time of great creativity and bold ideas, where the impossible seemed within reach and the sky was no longer the limit. A moment's rise, a moment's fall, a dream consumed within the wall, yet echoes linger in the sky, ideas never truly die. For Henry Koanda, the exhibition was a chance to unveil his groundbreaking creation to the world and demonstrate the power of his revolutionary design. He stood by his aircraft, answering questions and explaining the principles behind his unique propulsion system. It was a moment of validation for Koanda, a chance to show that his ideas were not just theoretical, but had real, tangible potential. Little did he know that his creation was about to make history, not only for its ingenuity, but also for an unexpected discovery that would change the course of aviation forever. The Koanda 1910 was more than just an aircraft, it was a harbinger of a new era in flight. Its innovative design and propulsion system would pave the way for future advancements, leaving an indelible mark on the history of aviation. Long before the grand halls of the Paris exhibition, Henri Coanda's journey began in the bustling city of Bucharest, Romania. This city, with its rich tapestry of history and culture, was a melting pot of ideas and influences. The streets were alive with the sounds of horse-drawn carriages clattering over cobblestones, and the air was thick with the scent of blooming flowers from the many gardens that dotted the landscape. It was in this vibrant environment that young Henry's story began to unfold. Born into a family with a strong military background, young Henry seemed destined for a life in uniform. His father, a respected general, instilled in him the values of discipline and duty from an early age. The family home was filled with stories of bravery and honor, and it was expected that Henry would follow in these footsteps. Yet, even as a child, there were signs that Henry's destiny might lie elsewhere. However, his fascination with the world around him, particularly the mysteries of flight, hinted at a different path. He would often be found with his nose buried in books about the latest scientific discoveries or gazing up at the sky, lost in thought. 
the sight of birds soaring effortlessly through the air captivated him, and he began to dream of what it might be like to join them, one that would be paved with innovation and a desire to push the boundaries of what was considered possible. Henri's mind was a whirlwind of ideas, and he was determined to explore every one of them. He began to tinker with small projects, using whatever materials he could find. His room became a workshop, filled with bits of wire, pieces of wood, and sketches of his latest inventions. Kuanda's childhood was filled with the wonders of discovery. Every day was an adventure as he explored the world around him with an insatiable curiosity. He would spend hours in the garden examining the intricate patterns on leaves or watching insects as they went about their daily lives. Each new discovery was a piece of a larger puzzle, and Henri was determined to see the whole picture. The young boy would spend countless hours observing the wind as it danced through the trees, his mind alight with questions about its invisible forces. He was fascinated by the way the wind could bend the branches of a tree or send leaves swirling through the air. It seemed to him that the wind was a living thing with a will of its own, and he longed to understand its secrets. How did birds harness this invisible power to soar effortlessly through the sky? Henry would watch them for hours, marveling at their grace and agility. He began to sketch their wings, trying to understand the mechanics of their flight. He read everything he could find on the subject, from ancient myths to the latest scientific theories. The more he learned, the more he realized how much there was still to discover. Could humans ever hope to replicate such a feat? This question became an obsession for Henri. He began to conduct his own experiments, building small models and testing them in the garden. He would spend hours adjusting the wings, trying to find the perfect balance. Each failure was a lesson, and each success brought him one step closer to his dream. These questions fueled his imagination and ignited within him a passion for understanding the principles of flight. He devoured books on aerodynamics and engineering, and he began to correspond with other enthusiasts around the world. His room was filled with letters and blueprints, and he spent every spare moment working on his designs. His family watched with a mixture of pride and concern as Henry's passion for flight began to consume him. Konda's early experiments, often conducted with nothing more than scraps of material, and the boundless enthusiasm of youth, laid the foundation for his groundbreaking work in aviation. He built model planes from bits of wood and fabric, testing them in the fields around his home. Each flight, no matter how short, was a triumph, and he kept meticulous records of his results. These early experiments taught him the importance of perseverance and attention to detail, lessons that would serve him well in the years to come. His childhood in Bucharest, a city steeped in history and tradition, proved to be the perfect breeding ground for a mind that dared to dream of a future where humanity would take to the skies. The city's rich cultural heritage and vibrant intellectual life provided Henri with the inspiration and support he needed to pursue his dreams. Surrounded by the beauty and history of Bucharest, Henri Kwanda began to imagine a world where the sky was no longer the limit, but just the beginning. A whisper lost, a name once dim, yet time would bend and honor him. For every engine's mighty roar it sings his name forevermore. The Kwanda 1910 was not simply an airplane, it was a testament to Henry Kwanda's relentless pursuit of innovation. Unlike the conventional aircraft of its time, which relied on propellers to generate thrust, Kwanda's creation was powered by a revolutionary new engine of his own design. This engine, a marvel of early 20th century engineering, combined a conventional piston engine with a unique ducted fan system. The result was an aircraft that promised increased efficiency and, most importantly, unparalleled control. The Kowanda 1910's design was as elegant as it was daring. Its sleek, streamlined fuselage, a stark contrast to the boxy, open-air structures of contemporary aircraft, not only reduced drag, but also hinted at the future of aviation design. The aircraft's wings, carefully crafted with a subtle curvature, were a testament to Kowanda's deep understanding of aerodynamic principles. They were designed to maximize lift while maintaining stability, a delicate balance that had challenged aviation pioneers for years. Henri Kwanda may not have lived to see his vision fully realized, 
but his genius shaped the very skies we fly today. Innovation isn't always recognized in its time, but history remembers those who dared to dream beyond their era. What do you think? Could Kwanda's ideas have changed aviation even sooner? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoy uncovering the past that shaped our world, subscribe for more stories from history's forgotten pioneers.